hello guys it's me uh listen i'm really mad i just lost a ranked game um and i got passion flowing listen to me right now um we are currently in a pinball machine meta if you wanted a, a really good example of why 5v5 sucks giant ass i'm about to give you one so here we go what happened is that they initially buffed the tank knockback resistance to 40% to combat them getting booped all over the place. Well, okay, that was uh, a bit of a bullshit change. You should be able to get a tank away from you, right? Like if the tank is diving you, he should not just it, he shouldn't just not be not boopable because the game just gave him a stat that said he couldn't be booped. It incentivizes him playing like garbage and getting away with not dealing with the fact he's getting booped. However, in Overwatch 1, it was okay that the tanks get booped a lot because there were two of them and they could play make off of each other and they could mitigate the booping because you can only boop one at a time usually. However, in 5v5, there's only one tank, which means the tank inherently needs more knockback resistance by default because there is only one tank. And if you permanently knock back the tank always, he will never be able to walk forward and make any progress because he doesn't have another tank to help mitigate any of the booping. Therefore, the only solution is to give the tank knockback resistance. However, giving the tank knockback resistance by default is complete bullshit because it incentivizes dogshit gameplay where you just eat the boop because you can, because you have so much knockback resistance. However, at the same time, as soon as you lower the knockback resistance, resistance to the point where the tank can no longer just eat it because they want to you then get a meta like we have now called the pinball machine where the tank is permanently stuck getting booped all over the place with absolutely no player agency whatsoever my last game had juno the enemy team was juno brig junkrat ash queen i would drop my shield on ryan i'd get hit with a queen knife I'd get pulled into them, axed, break booked away. I would try and walk forward on the queen, I would get conked away by the Junkrat. If I went on the Juno, she would run away from me. If I pinned into their back lane and went for the Ash, I would get coach gunned away, I would get hit with a dagger, thrown back into my front lane, axed, booped back into their back lane by the Junkrat, coach gunned again, then they've, they're speeding away, okay, well now I'm getting conked again, now I'm getting daggered again, and it's like, I can't fucking move, I'm just permanently stuck flying around in the air because they're booping me. So then the only solution would be to go a similar comp where you're just booping each other but if your team don't want to do that then you fucking lose so another solution to this okay just pick zarya because then at least you can eat some of the boop and you're gonna get some energy from it you can actually do something however a bubble only goes so far if i bubble the knife and i bubble one of the junk rat mains well then the other junk rat main hits me and if i bubble both junk rat mains well then the knife hits me and then the brig boop hits me and it's like, I can't block all of the boops. I'm gonna I'm gonna get hit by some of them either way. And because I have like borderline zero knockback resistance, I'm just permanently fucking stuck flying around at the mercy of the enemy team pressing their boop button. And it fucking sucks. However, at the exact same time, it is simultaneously bullshit for the enemy team to have to deal with a tank that does have knockback resistance because it means that even if they play their boop correctly, it means the tank can still engage on them even though they made the right play. So in 5v5, you are simultaneously in a situation where the tank needs knockback resistance because if he doesn't, he loses by default, but he also can't use any knockback resistance because if he does, it removes player agency from the game, which is he absolutely a diabolically dog shit situation for the tank player because you're not allowed to have knockback resistance and you're not allowed to not have knockback resistance it is the pinnacle of 5v5 being complete ass there is absolutely no winning you will get booped absolutely everywhere no matter what you play even if you go diva okay you're hit with a junk remain okay well then you're hit with the brick bash and then the ch and then she whip and then she whips you okay well then now the daggers in you okay well now you're coach gunned okay well now you're hit with another junk man okay well now the daggers off cooldown okay well now the whip shots off cooldown you literally can't fucking move there is no hero in this game that's capable of eating all of that book it's physically impossible 
The only solution is that your team either mirrors it or they go a super speed comp. But even if they go a super speed comp, it doesn't even matter because the boops outlast the fucking speed. So the only solution is to go a boop comp, which means you have to go queen. But another issue, if, for example, you do go queen and they have more boops than you do, well then good fucking luck actually doing anything because you're again permanently stuck in the pinball machine where you're not allowed to do anything other than be at the mercy of your team and hope that they can just clean up while you're seven feet in the air uh, get about to get hit with the eighth junk mine that fight it's just fantastically fun however uh another issue then arises when you go okay well then both tanks are just getting booped absolutely everywhere what's the actual like how do you then turn that into a win like as a tank player what do you do well, genuinely, the only solution is being so patient to the point where you're basically not doing anything. You kind of just have to stand there and wait and hope that one of your DPS get a pick. And if they don't, you're just kind of stuck doing nothing. Now, here's the thing. In the super higher ranks, it's generally not that big of an issue because te players tend to just go for the... Uh, I'm just going to W key, or sorry, in the higher ranks, players tend to actually have a bit more proactivity. They're going, okay, I want to take a 1v1 with the Ana. Okay, I'm going to force these cooldowns. I'm going to play this angle and try and take this 1v1 here. And they actually have like a lot of thought, and they're not just shooting the tank all day. However, in Masters, where people are uh, suffering from severe brain damage, the only thing they're capable of doing is shooting the enemy tank. Which means that even though I'm probably going to win the game, it doesn't fucking matter to me because I just spent the last 15 minutes of my life holding down W and then booped and then I'm pulled in and then I'm booped away and then I'm pulled in and then I'm booped and then I'm booped again. Okay, and then I'm booped again and then I'm pulled in and then I'm booped. It's like, what's going on? Where, where's the fun? When do I get to do anything? And I feel especially bad for the people who play Reinhardt this season because that hero is rendered completely obsolete by the knockback resistance change. You genuinely can't do anything at all. If the enemy team has a junk rat, just a junk rat, the only thing, they don't even need the other boops. You will not do anything for the remainder of the game if he does not want you to. And it's not a situation where it's like, oh, just get better at the game and outplay him. That's not what, like there's, there's literally no solution to this. It's walk forward, he presses left shift, the mine goes at you, he, he presses right click, and you are now 30 feet behind where you were originally. And that's it. There's no, like, I guess you could pop your shield up to try and block it, but good Junkrat players are just gonna throw it so high that it goes over your shield and it still boops you. There's nothing, there's no winning. You can't do anything. You just have to eat the boops. It's awful. This is genuinely awful. So, in the current situation of the game, the only playable DPS heroes are Tracer, Sombra, Ash, Reaper, Widow, Junkrat. Everything else is complete dog shit. Tanks, you don't have a good option right now. They're all pretty bad, apart from D.Va and Monkey who are pretty good. And Ram's pretty good too, but Ram gets fucking annihilated by Junkrat. So you basically can't play Ram anymore, unless you just want to get booped around for it. You're never going to die as Ram, but you're also never going to do anything because you're going to get booped everywhere. So the only playable heroes still are basically Monkey and D.Va, but Monkey just gets fucking annihilated by the boops as well. D.Va's kind of the only one who can eat it at all because at least you can burst a kill through the boop anyway. You can just keep flying at it and eventually you'll kill something because you do enough damage. But basically no other hero survives against any of this boop at all. You just kind of fucking lose. You just have to really hope that they don't know how to use the boop properly. And if they do, well then good luck. You just don't get to play the game. Fantastically designed patch is good. But back to what I said earlier, if the tank does have not mag resistance, then the tank is inherently bullshit, right? Like it's both ways. It's it's both. If it has knockback resistance, it's bullshit. If it doesn't have knockback resistance, it doesn't get to play the game anymore. It is the absolute pinnacle of 5v5 being complete ass. Why would you like? The, the, I'm sorry. This is unbalanceable. It's legitimately unbalanceable. You cannot have it both ways, unfortunately. But you kind of need it to be both ways. Uh, so that's fantastic. That's good. Oh god, I can't, I'm so I'm actually so tilted. I, I lose to the most fucking dog shit players 
they just go junk rat and I just can't do anything. I just, I'm just forfeited to just be permanently stuck getting booked into my own backline 400 times a game. And there's nothing I can do unless I want to go D.Va. And honestly, I could go D.Va. I, I could absolutely go D.Va. I'm not I'm not saying I could. But honestly, I'd rather lose on Ryan than win on D.Va right now, to be honest. So this isn't... Uh, I'm not... This is, My argument does not stem from the fact that I lost. It was just... um. It threw fire on the the flames. You know what I'm talking. About. It threw it threw petrol on the flames. Is what I mean. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go queue another ranked game, and uh, hopefully they don't have junk rat. Because if they do, well then I just fucking lose. Yeah. Uh, have a good day. Mm -hmm.